Okay, now we own one of the most famous beach, the Beach Road. It's famous not because of people come on a beach or go on a boat on the tours like uh, taking banana or parachuting or whatever. Of course, it's famous about the cookers. Yeah, it's a real cruise. Most of the people came here uh, uh, six tourism. And we've been here before. In evening time, and you probably notice the dramatical difference between daytime and evening time. kilometers and all of it full of hookers and now it's a bit more free and yeah like an old bullshit we'll tell you like all the terrible truths like how it's opposite side of the tourism how it's look like so basically most of people who come here they get a piece of meat and you can hear like a lot of time if you don't have money just go away so if how it is but still a lot of people who came here, especially all people, you can see like the happiest oldest man on the world is here. And I think he's the oldest they are, they try to find the younger girl as possible. And yeah, you might be surprised, but some girls they start their career in the 16 or even earlier. Yeah. Um, of course, everyone's supposed to check the documents like ID, you cannot go to the club if you under 21 but corruption it makes things possible so if something not possible just pay the police that's it and you know how it works not only here in most of other country so someone just called to the owner and say you know it will be some check this is everything clear or not and that's it so maybe in some corruption it's maybe a good or bad thing and okay let's come back to the women so if some woman said she working in like coconut bar it means she's not working in the bar she's just working in the street and uh, it's coconut tree so it means like uh all the name for the bar and she working in the street and here you can find like the cheapest woman is possible a uh, rate started from ten dollars it's something like you even don't want to touch so i saw okay who want to take a woman like for size smaller price or so but you can imagine how many customers they have per day like really really a lot so for example if in the bar some of the girls they have working with customers so they do while it's coming quite often they will be fired immediately but here they're working on their own also they not really like the word Prostitutes, oh, they they call them <laughs> but some of them even don't know what that means. Uh, they never translated, so they saw this like means the same. But also, if you say "hari," what's in Thai language, it's mean a prostitute. They will be really upset of it. They even can try to break a bottle of your pen, you know, because it's like um, you show a disrespect. But they don't care; they disrespect themselves. Uh, so yeah. Same if you want to find here a woman or man or whatever you came here and negotiate the price. Same like in the market. market, you can drop it down. And I was surprised and for some compliments, a woman said, Oh, you look so good for you, it's free today. Well, yeah, it's good, great. And yeah, where I took the all information from? It's simple. If you try to record someone here, they will probably show you tricks in your camera or something, people don't want to see you record them. And they tell you like five minutes ago, the family like so poor, cool, send them here to make some money, but everything is bullshit. Probably they like this job for sure. And they don't want to anyone record it because it will be a big shame for their family if someone sees them, you know. But they still don't mind to share some stories and even laughing from people 
to say cheating here around. Uh, the simplest way, you can be just friendly, same as uh, my mate, you like drinking with him, with the drinks, to the girls, talk to them, and they really don't mind to share the stories with you, like some of them, it's really, really ridiculous. Or oh, other way, you just can give him some money, like even three or five dollars, it's okay, they can tell you like everything you want, even everything that you don't want to know. So, women who work here in the coconut bar, sometimes they call the palm tree bar, what's not the system bar, and of course they don't go and don't do any medical check or so, so it's the like, best choice you can ever make, but still, a lot of people go and do, and as people said me like five years ago, it was way, way more women here on the street, and now everyone working online in the dating charts or social networks, so less women on the street now, so everyone tried to find the customers uh, online. And another thing that explain how many idiots in this world, like, and some women when they tell it, they just really love it. So some of them just meet some guy for, let's say, a week or month's time, and after they ask him to send some money, so be a sponsor, and they will wait time and they said absolutely the same thing to everyone all the time it's something men would like to hear like you're the only one I like you is the best one most handsome and so on and away from you and blah 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 and basically it's everything really similar same like for men based and some of them they have like uh, even 10 potential sponsors who send them money every month like one thousand even two thousand dollars a day and I said oh yeah it's like $1,000 is not enough for living expenses, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, but in reality, some people like in the 7-Eleven, they're working only for $300 a month. And the personal assistants, they work for $500 a month. So, of course, $1,000 is And yeah, if you have like 10 sponsors like that, so you can make your database in one or two years, they're not so bad. And what to do if two people came at the same time to visit you? Answer is simple. Oh, you know, in this period of time I need to go to visit my family, what, like in the middle of nowhere. And of course no one wanna go there. Okay, I'll come next month and so on. So they have like a lot of different, um, let's say, techniques for taking your money out. And also they teach the other girls who came here, like they, um, maybe even the daughters or sisters or whatever. So some aunties is really terrible, I would say, and have no any morality. So this place might be perfect for alcoholics and people who inside their moral decay. Okay, and one more, one more true story, one man I met, he's like happiest man in the world, like, okay, we're gonna marry and go to Australia and blah, blah, blah. And next week when I saw him, he like was so sad, I said, what's happened? I said, you know, I never checked phone of my girlfriend and when I did, I was so shocked. He had like a lot of messages and she had 36 potential sponsors to send like money every month or every two months and everyone just come for visit her time to time. So just you can imagine how huge traffic she had. And yeah, it's not only one. And when this woman on the street, it, all that things they really laughing. They really laughing how some people down and believe all of that story. But in my opinion, some people they really don't mind. They know they cheat. They just pay money for it for the young woman and they don't want to make a All of the people who came just for the first time or like spent their first week or first and probably they will believe from any story they will talk from women's about all men, whatever. But people who stay here for a while, let's say six months or years, um, the best place is you can go literally to any bar. It will be a lot of old men, so you can come to the station. They will be really happy to share their life experience about and it's quite interesting. So you can like some group of women, they teach other women who come here how to take money off the tourist. And some people who stay here for a while, they like get it more smart, you know, all of these things. It's make like kind of antivirus. So uh, try 
how to do rip them off. And they know all of the tricks because sometimes the girls post the same messages to the same guys and if you know each other, you know, like the messages identical. And new girls who came, they're not really good in English, so they just ask other women, okay, just I need the help, go get some more money from people I know and so on. So they give them this, like, exactly the same text with things of men who want to know and it's how it works. So if someone came and the girl said, okay, you know, uh, I'm busy now, I want to visit my family. And guys said, okay, you know, let's go, let's visit your family, what, like, on the middle of nowhere, in the mountains and so on, and you know, uh, it's not going to work. Or same story like my granny in a hospital or whatever. So if you said, okay, let's go and visit your granny, what might be even not exist, and she's not in the hospital, and so on. So I just give you like a simple example of things, what's going on here, but still. It's really a lot of things you can visit year-round, but actually it's not in the center. The center, I would say, is like really terrible place for visit, but it's perfect for moral thinking, but it depends on your aim. And yeah, and later on, I'll explain more, and we go to another street, we'll tell you a bit more about what we street.